So now let's work with that image part. So in the UI, where's the UI, where's the UI? In the UI, when I click on home, you can see the image is not coming here. And even if I go inside, it's not working. And apart from this, there were multiple issues. The first one is it's still showing out of stock. So we'll solve that. And I think I know the problem. In the description also, we were getting that empty, right? So if I click on here, there's no description. We have entered the description. Also, it is not showing the stock. It's because in the UI and in the, uh, in the backend, there's a name issue. So name is same, brand is same, description what we are using is only uh, the dis disk, not description. So if I change this, I think it will affect some somewhere else, I'm not sure. Uh, but I think I have to change that in the front end. Yeah, so I have to change it everywhere. So I know the problem, you will solve this, I know. Uh, so in your code, uh, in the back end, change this uh, names, or maybe I will just change that fast. Okay, what I will do is I will just go back to the product. Now, since we are making this mistake from start, so let's resolve it. Description, what is what available? It's product available, stock quantity. What else was there? Stock quantity, product available, release date. And there was one more issue, description price, category. Yeah, I think these are the only issues. Okay, but if I change this, I think I have to change somewhere else as well in the service. Anywhere we are using it, no, good. In repo also no change, in the controller also no change. Okay, looks good. So those are the things, uh, things we have to change. And now let's work with the image. So in the controller, uh, we have to work for that URL, right? So which URL I'm talking about is in the home, this URL. So product slash, I will just copy this. This is what you have to work on. So let's go back to our code and create a method for this or create a mapping for this. So it's public and we are going to return the response response entity. In the entity, the type will be byte array because we're going to send the image, right? Byte array and I will say get image by product ID because that's what we are going to pass because the mapping is get mapping in the URL. This is the URL, right? So instead of saying product ID, I will simply say ID. Or maybe product ID will look good. Why there's a mistake here? Okay. So let's complete this method now. And there was an issue with the method name. And here we have to accept the name. So I will say product, uh, product path variable, uh, integer product ID. And let's work with this. Now, how will you get the image? So of course the image will be coming in the product itself, right? So we'll fetch the product and we'll save that in our product. So I will say product, product equal to, and who will give me the product? It is service, so I will say service. Hey service, get a product by ID, and the ID we already have now. So this will give me a product. Now from this product, I want to get the image. In which format? In the bytes format. So I will say byte array image file equal to. How will you get this? So I will say, hey product, get me the image data dot, get me the bytes. Okay, get image data is itself is a byte, right? Yeah, it's a, itself is a byte. So we got the bytes, we don't need the name of it, but we'll need type because on the client side, we have to send the content type, what type of content we are working with, because there might be some issues, so we'll send the content up as well. So let's return the data now. So since we have the image, so I'll say return, this time we want to send the content up as well. So I will use a different format, response entity, because it has multiple ways of doing this. Uh, you can send the okay, which is the status, and we can say dot, I want to send the content type as well. The content type is, okay, content type is media type. So we have to say media type dot, uh, we have to use value type, value of, and you have to mention the type of the content. And how will you get the content type? So we'll say product dot get image type. Uh, apart from this, so we, have, so we are sending the status, okay. Then we are sending the content type. We have to also send the data, right? So data will be going, going in a body, not boy body and the data itself is image files. Okay, looks good. So we got the product, then we got the image in the byte format. We are sending a response by sending okay. We are sending the content type, which is the get, con get image type, and then we are sending the image file. Uh, you just try out without the content type. I tried before this, there was some issue and uh, this has resolved it. You try it without it and let me know in the comments if it is working for you. So now with this, let's refresh. I hope this will work, hope. But again, when you restart, we have to create the object once again. So let's try. So Tomcat started. 
let's go back here click on home you can see no product available i will say add product i will say galaxy m that's the phone name brand is samsung best phone 999 dollars okay that's a huge price for this phone 500 dollars it's a mobile phone stock is five uh, release date is let's say first june image pegged product is available click on submit it says product added successfully that's great okay click on home oh we got the image okay so that's a good thing click on this and uh, okay description is still not there okay description is there yeah it is best phone uh, stock is now five so we have solved that problem it says add to card so yeah, the names were the issue and we got the image it's huge but then that is something css issue not our issue right i can click on add to cart it says add it to the cart but we have to manage this in the back end oh no that's a ui ui feature anyway uh now i will add more products i'll say sports shoe brand is nike walk-in code price 99 category fashion stock is let's say only one uh, date of release is today image i hope i have picked this show image available submit product added successfully great click on home yeah we got two products so like this one uh, like this we can add a more products and we can see that here and if i click on this this is what we got okay things are working out looking good so this is how basically you integrate the front end and back end uh, so for a particular url you have to build the api so that the front end will get the data and that's what we have done cool stuff right uh, we can handle this more because we are actually not checking while sending the data that if the product is already there. What if you are sending an ID and the product is not there? What you will send? So we can handle that here using try using if else stuff. And yeah, so this is working. So that's it from adding a product. Maybe in the upcoming videos we'll focus on update and delete, and we'll see in the upcoming videos. See everyone. Bye bye.